Hello. So uh, yesterday, I changed my antenna. I put my uh, beam back up. I've still got up the um, five eighth wave vertical. It's a, uh, an aluminium uh, vertical antenna, uh, five eighth wave. Not sure the make. It's just one of those general aluminium, uh, twenty two foot long verticals. I've got one of those. That's on the. That's on this antenna. Which is on there now. The switch works opposite. It's a rocker switch. It's a homemade, um, homemade switch box. So uh, press down on this side is this antenna. Press down on this side is this antenna. So this antenna is the um, 5 8 way vertical for 11 meters. And this antenna, which I put up yesterday, my shiny new um, mini, uh, mini 8 coax, that's a three element Yagi. So we're on the uh, vertical. And uh, just shows the difference between between the two antennas. Um, most of the stations we're listening to are coming from Europe. Uh, the beam is uh, beaming to uh, Europe. Uh, the vertical is obviously uh, omnidirectional. So we're on the vertical. So this is the uh, vertical, and I'll switch to the Yagi, see if there's a difference. There's a difference. Back to the uh, vertical, the 5 8 wave vertical. I mean, he's there, but uh, very weak. So that's the uh, vertical antenna. I mean, he's, uh, he's decently strong. He's uh, easily workable. Let's see what happens when he comes back now. I'll switch antennas. Let me straighten the camera a bit. So that's the vertical. That's the uh, Yagi. Back to the vertical, so he's about a 5 and 5 ish QSB. So that's the vertical, and that's the uh, Yagi. Massive difference there. Now 5 and 5 to 5 9 plus. Back to the vertical. It's quite amazing. When you, when you see it, you think, wow. There's, uh, there's some weak stations there, but nothing uh, nothing overly strong. I'll switch to the uh, beam. And there he is. He came out the noise and he's an S5. Back to the vertical. Really is an eye-opener. So that's the vertical antenna, that is. So that's the vertical. That's the uh, horizontal Yagi. Back to the vertical, uh, five and five, five nine plus, uh, more, well, more ten over on the Yagi. Wow, that's a massive difference there. there is, uh, vertical, 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 vertical. Yagi. He's on about Yagis now. Uh, 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 
It's quite amazing when you uh, when you when you start doing it antenna tests. You think one antenna is good. You've had it up for a while. It's a good antenna. I've worked lots of stations on the vertical. But then when you put up a, a directional antenna, yeah. what a difference. So the triple seems fairly quiet. So that's the vertical. That's the horizontally aggie. Vertical. Wow. So he goes to six five five. Vertical. Horizontal. People say there's only like maybe 6 dBs again, and 6 dBs is roughly an S point or so. But as you can see, it's a lot more than that. You should have only gone up one or one, at, one or two S points at the most. But that's not that's not what we're seeing. Obviously, the uh, 5 8 wave has a little bit of gain. I think it's about 1.5 dBd. The uh, horizontal three element Yagi has roughly eight or so they say. So it's probably about, uh, let's say, for argument's sake, there's six dBs of difference. Let's just say, for argument's sake, there's six dBs of difference between the two antennas. So six dBs, the S point or so, it's a lot more than that, as we can see. That's back to the uh, vertical. Vertical, 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 horizontal. Wow. So it just goes, it just goes to uh, show uh, the old three element Yagi. It might not be a, a special antenna in any way. It's just a bog standard three element Yagi. But what a difference it makes.